All right, this should be the final part of what is your anime hot take Japanese interview from Mr. Takashi. Give it to me. Anohana is overrated. I've never seen it, but based on the cover, it looks like a slice of life anime that I would assume is an underrated anime. I feel like this is the type of anime that's like a hidden gem because no one actually cares about slow burning dramas or a slice of life. That's the vibe I get looking at this cover pic. This is overrated? It's a movie? It's a movie and he felt nothing. I watched, I also know it must be a bunch of animes and there's also a movie on top of it. なんか主人公たちがこう結構田舎でなんかこういろいろ楽しんでるんですけど、私はずっと都会育ちで感情移入しづらかったっていうのがあると思います。あまり。So <笑> he thinks it's overrated because he can't relate because he's a city boy while the anime depicts countryside content. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen it. I don't fucking know. 知られてないけど個人的にめっちゃ好きなアニメよ。鬼滅の刃、進撃の巨人。Jujutsu Kaisen, Boruto. I don't know what's he gonna say for underrated. Kekaishi, Kekaishi. Another old series that I haven't seen. What is this shit? Some街を夜な夜な綾かしっていう敵が空夜隠れて秘密のなんかそういうかっこいいところがあったりするのに憧れたりしました。Sounds like a battle shonen with like exorcism. All time best. It's my favorite anime. Tell me, guys. Eight or zero. Yes. Oh ho ho! Wait. Is it redeemed for saying this? Because I hear a lot of good things for Fate Zero. I want to one of these days watch this show. If we're ever gonna get started with the Fate series, Fate Zero is the way we're gonna start. A lot of people say, "No, you need to watch Unlimited Blade War. You need Unlimited fucking fucking the, the UBW." It's like fuck you. I'm watching Fate Zero first. I don't care. I hear that this is the correct chronological way. I don't care. I'm watching Zero first. What character could I empathize with? A lot of people say, bro, if you watch Fate Zero, you're gonna love Gilgamesh. Why do you think that I will love Gilgamesh? I know Gilgamesh. I've played Fate Grand Order. I know his persona. That's why. Because <laughs> he calls people monkeys. Zashu. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's on me. He's, he's just a fucking asshole. And so am I. Yeah. That, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Overrated? Liquor, 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 Bro. Actually. It might be. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It might be. Because, like, I love the anime. This is an anime original. I, and I, I, I watched it. I, this is, like, fucking like a year plus ago. But, like, the amount of hype and love for this show, despite being an anime original with, like, little to no advertisement, was very high. That means the visibility of this show was super high. And I could see why people are going to think that it's overrated. Because it was just so dummy popular during that season. It's so boring, I stop. But like, you need to give me the reasoning. All you're saying is, my friend recommended, I didn't like it, it's boring, so I stopped watching. You need to tell me. You need to be like, you know what? The story depicts a story about fucking, you know, two Yuri girls, and I don't really care about them. I don't really care about, you know, the, uh, I don't know, the drama with the main character's battery about to go down. I don't know. I thought that the story was actually really good. Mm. Um, the only thing I know about this is a girl because of her thighs. For whatever reason, when this show came out, everyone was just talking about some girl's thighs. That was about it. I don't know. 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 
俺はなんか日常系なんですけど、まあ、女の子は可愛くて面白かったです、yeah. まあのんびりアニメ見たい人にはおすすめかなと思います人気スロースライスオブライフアニメインテレスティング I guess licorice recall was this Why would a guy that enjoys slow burning slice of life not like Rickler's Recall? Because Rickler's Recall was not a slice of life, just slow burn. It was pretty hype and there was like a battle plot associated with it. I enjoyed it though. Based. Listen, I love Demon Slayer, but I also love the Demon Slayer slander even more. <laughs> What did you say? What did it, what's his reasoning? They often end up yelling in this show. No shit! Muzanda! <laughs> you know? Tanjiro! <laughs> Just everyone fucking yelling. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, that's shonen in a nutshell. That, that's that's a show. Everyone yells. It's just shonen in a nutshell. It's a nice guy. I prefer something a bit quieter that embodies the spirit of Japan. I guess he wants more like slow burn slice of life shit. They express, what do you say? Everything through words. Is that true? I thought that they express everything through the fucking movie tier animation. Words? I don't think dialogue is very impactful in Demon Slayer. Straight up, like Demon Slayer, it ha if you listen to the dialogue, it's very generic. And like, here is a perfect example because I have this episode right now still. Let's go back to the finale of season four, season five, or season four. What was it? Season five? Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I, I want you to look at this specific part. It's the part where finally. Tanjiro and Muzan see each other. And the dialogue is so generic. This scene had me crying. I am. This scene, this whole entire episode is stupid fucking hype. And the whole dialogue is You are, you eye sword demon slayer, you're all gonna die tonight. Basically, right? Sure, so in order to sub to show up from VLC player, I have to like adjust it kind of. In a weird way. You are all going to go to straight to hell. All of you, you eyesore demon slayers. It's the most generic shit. And he says, no, you're the one who's going to go to hell, Muzan. You're not getting away. Do it then. Come on, Tanjiro. But like the soundtrack, the animation, the whole setting, everything that got set up to get here is the reason why this episode was so stupid hype. So I don't really agree with like expressing everything through words. I think they're expressing everything through the fucking movie tier animations and cinema and just like just the soundtracks. Never seen this. Looks like a children's show. Oh. Another series that I haven't seen, but I can acknowledge it's so good because everyone just talks like it, right? Like, like. People think that, like this is supposed to be the most like the greatest like psychological anime ever or some shit, right? That's fair to say, right? I kind of wish that someone's gonna say that Evangelion is overrated. Oh, bro, if the next guy says if the next guy says Evangelion is overrated, oh, that's gonna be so peak. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can totally get why someone that watches like a big brain show like Evangelion, who started off watching that shit, would think that Demon Slayer is overrated. For sure. This guy has like, this guy's IQ is probably super high for anime. Like, it's very, maybe it's like pretentious a little bit, but I can totally understand it by, by his other picks on why he thinks Demon Slayer is fucking trash. Okay, thank you for watching so far. How That's was it? it? That was interesting. What? You didn't even give me a time. You said, how was it? That was interesting. Thank you for watching so far. How was it? That was You didn't give me time to fucking answer you. Interesting. What do you think is overrated anime? Let me know. Let's think about it. All right. All right, chat. What is the most overrated anime? Oh, you ready for this shit? You're not ready. I'm about to lose about 10 subs for saying this. Furiden is the most overrated anime. Simply walking through a forest 
and showing the sky and saying that this is so vibe. This is just cinema. No, it's not! It's filler animation! I don't give a fuck! Freedom overrated! I don't actually believe that, but that's a hot take. What is an underrated anime? Let's make people mad. Let's make people fucking mad. Underrated anime. I can't say Classroom of the Elite because people love that shit. Even the light novel people hate on it. Underrated. Underrated. Oh, fuck, fuck. On the top of... I think Tomotan girl... Tomotan is a girl gets shit on. Even though it's actually a really good rom-com. Suicide Squad Isaka? Nah. Newgate? That shit's fucking trash. <laughs> fuck. What's an underrated anime? Under rent a girlfriend? I haven't seen it enough. Captain Sivasa? I, I don't know. Inuma, welcome to Inamakun. I don't think Inamakun is underrated. I think a lot of people talk well of it. What's like an anime that gets shit on but that I actually enjoyed? I gotta think about that. I haven't seen Strike the Blood. Charlotte? Charlotte's an amazing anime. People love that show. Sword Art Online? There it is. Yep, I'm going with that. SAO is an underrated anime. Yep. You are blinded by your popular opinion bandwagoning of shitting on SAO without even knowing why you hate SAO. Motherfuckers didn't even see all of SAO and they're so quick onto shit on him. Sword Art Online is not a perfect anime. There's a lot of dumb shit goes on. One of the things I hate so much about it is how creepy it gets and how it's basically called sexual art online, sexual assault online due to the sheer amount of creepy dudes that show up. Those things that sucks. There's a lot of plot holes. There's a lot of stupid things that doesn't make sense. But despite that, I love this show. I love how they actually give a fuck in trying to give like pseudoscience and futuristic technology. I love our entire roster of characters that I've immersed myself into, but to the point I can just enjoy them just having a fun time watching a slice of an anime. SAO season one, part one was peak. Part two was... Gigi was amazing. Tonki was what the fuck. Mother's Rosario was heartfelt. And now, Sword Art Online Arisization. Bro, this shit is fucking peak fiction. I don't care. You haven't seen that shit? You can't even talk shit about it. Fuck you. And now, my favorite anime of all time. All time? That's a hard one to say. Beyblade Metal Fusion. Yep, I'm saying it. Fuck you. Beyblade Metal Fusion, the one we're watching right now. I'll see y'all. I, I think that there's a lot of different videos. And, and guys, go give Takashi a like. Go to this video. Sub to his channel. Eminence Jab, they're, they're amazing. Most of the fucking hot takes I said were pretty much for memes. Honestly, I, 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 I am still... I'm not memeing about Sword Art Online, though. Sword Art Online, I think, is an underrated anime. And a lot of people fucking shit on it. Without it, doesn't, doesn't need that shit. But um, I think there's a lot of different content from Takashi that we can pick out. So I, I, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed this part four series, you know, of just going around, just talking about different people's anime. But uh, I'll see you all in the next ones.